I cannot lay out something that would change the president's mind. He has been very clear, uh, and he's going to continue to build on the unprecedented record that he's been able uh, to lay out for the American people. That's his focus right now. Foreign leaders have seen the president close up. They have. And, uh, and you know, and close up and, and personally for the past three years. And I think that's important to know. They know who they are dealing with and how effective he has been. I just talked about you're going to see the president, um, you know, being a leader in front of the, in front of, uh, uh, these world leaders. Uh, you're going to see the president continue to bring these world leaders together. Uh, and as it relates to uh, what's happening currently, you heard directly from this president, he understands uh, the criticism, he gets the criticism, he has owned up to it, but he also wants to move forward. Hi. Um, is President Biden considering stepping down? Absolutely, absolutely not. And you heard, I, think, I believe, directly from the campaign as well. Joe Biden is our nominee. We beat Trump once and we're going to beat him again, period. I am proud to be Joe Biden's running mate. Thank you. a young man. State the obvious. Well, I know. I give you my words of Biden. I would not be running again if I didn't believe with all my heart and soul I can do this job. Because quite frankly, the stakes are too high. The stakes are too high. Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a genuine threat to this nation. Is a threat to our freedom. Yes. Is a threat to our democracy. Yes. He's literally a threat to everything America stands for. Yes. Now, folks, I don't know what you did last night, but I spent 90 stage, 90 minutes on the stage debating a guy who has the morals of an alley cat. Yes. <laughs> did you see Trump last night? My guess, he said, I mean it sincerely, a new record for the most lies told in a single debate. He lied about the great economy he created. He lied about the pandemic he botched, killing millions of people. He closed businesses. He closed schools, losing their homes, people all over this country. America was flat on its back. So I told Trump that he was just one of two presidents of American history who left office with fewer jobs than he started. Herbert Hoover was the other one. 
That's why I call him Donald Herbert Hoover Trump. We did love some, we learned some important truths about Donald Trump last night. We learned he's still proud of being the person who killed Roe v. Wade. We learned, <clears throat> no, <clears throat> we learned he's still proud about the pain and cruelties inflicted on America's women. We learned he still believes that politicians, not doctors and women, should make decisions about the woman's health. We learned that if he's elected again and the MAGA Republicans pass a national ban on abortion, he will sign it. Now, think about it. Every court in Hernan ruled that it was a fair election. He's still denying it, still telling lies. Three times Trump was asked last night by the moderators, would he respect the election results if he lost this time? Three times he refused to answer. Three times. Folks, Donald Trump refused to accept the results in 2020. We all saw what happened on January the 6th. It's a direct consequence of that. It was an international embarrassment.